Hey everybody, welcome to the Bacology YouTube channel. Here at Bacology, we don't just love our chickens, we love being as self-sufficient as possible in our day-to-day -day lives. That's why we love our Harvest Right freeze-dry machine. We can make ourselves quick cooking meals from whole ingredients with no preservatives, not only for food storage, but for everyday life as well. We will be sharing the recipes we use to create ourselves healthy meals from our freeze-dried ingredients, so hit the subscribe button to be notified when new videos are posted. In this video series, we will be creating single serving size chicken souvlaki meals. We will go over prep and then show you how we got ready to freeze dry ingredients. In the next video, we're going to show you how to reconstitute those meals. Remember here at Bacology, we make individual serving size meals because we eat those meals on a day to day basis. Individual serving size meals can also be used by backpackers, students living in dorms, travelers, and seniors who want healthy food with very little prep work. In my setup, I ran all of the ingredients in one batch in my medium machine. I ended up with six chicken meals and five one-half cup servings of hummus. You can also prep and dry the ingredients for these meals in larger quantities with multiple batches. The meals can also be upsized to serve two, three, or even a family. Just remember that you need to experiment with the water needed for rehydrating. Before we get started, I want to shout out to the creators of the recipes I used today. The recipe I used for souvlaki and tzatziki sauce is from the Nova Chef. The recipe I used for Greek lemon rice is from Buns in My Oven. And the recipe I used for hummus is from The Kitchen. Here's the shopping list of ingredients I used creating today's meals. I do want to note that after I completed this batch, I decided for my next batch, I'm going to make half the rice and then use canned tomatoes as I feel they reconstitute better. I will also do an entire tray of zucchini. If you decide to do that as well, add two more zucchini to your list and one 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes, then remove the fresh tomatoes from your shopping list. Here's my original list. Two 15 ounce can of chickpeas, one head of garlic, two to three lemons, tahini, olive oil, two medium yellow onions, one red onion, chicken broth, Greek seasoning, fresh parsley, fresh tomatoes, long grain white rice, three to four chicken breasts, white wine vinegar, a large cucumber, at least two cups of plain Greek yogurt. I used full fat and didn't have a problem. You'll also need fresh dill, two to three or more zucchini, and salt and pepper. Let's get started. We're gonna prep our chicken, make our hummus, and make the tzatziki sauce so that they can sit in the fridge overnight. I cut my chicken into thin strips because this helps with the reconstitution process. You're gonna add your chicken into a Ziploc bag and then add two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon white wine vinegar, four large garlic cloves minced, three tablespoons of Greek seasoning, I used a jar from the store, juice of one large lemon, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper. You wanna close the bag and massage to cover all of the chicken, then place in the fridge. Next, we'll make the hummus. The ingredients shown here are doubled from the original recipe. You're gonna need two 15 ounce cans of chickpeas, one small clove of garlic or more, one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, three tablespoons of tahini, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and three tablespoons of olive oil. You wanna strain your chickpeas and place those into a bowl, but be sure to save the juice from the beans for now because we're gonna use that in a bit. The original recipe recommends that you slip the skins from all the chickpeas, and I absolutely agree. It does create a creamier hummus in the end. Now you're going to add um, to a blender or food processor your chickpeas, garlic, lemon juice, tahini, salt and pepper, and olive oil. You're gonna start blending, and as you blend, um, you'll be able to tell really quick how thick it is. If it's too thick, 
add some of that juice from the beans. You'll want to stop your blender, your food processor every once in a while and scrape down the side of the bowl and then just keep adding juice and blending the beans until you get the consistency that you want. You want to blend it for at least five minutes, then give it a taste and adjust its seasoning. Don't forget you can customize your hummus if you want more garlic or if you're like me and like the spicy hummus, you can add red pepper flakes as well. The creator of this recipe says that this sauce tastes better the longer it sits and I agree, so I did mine the night before my batch. For this recipe, you're going to need one large cucumber unpeeled, two cups of plain Greek yogurt, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon fresh dill chopped, two large garlic cloves minced, one tablespoon fresh lemon juice, and three quarters teaspoon of salt. Using a box grater or a cheese grater as us older folks say, grate the entire cucumber. Place the grated cucumber into a cheesecloth or clean dish towel and squeeze out as much liquid as possible. Mix your cucumber, yogurt, garlic, lemon juice, oil, dill, and salt into a bowl and mix well. Cover and place into the fridge overnight. Time to clean up and I'll see you in the morning. We're going to start this morning by getting our rice cooking. I made mine in the Instapot. I do want to note that the original recipe is for stovetop cooking. When I cooked it using the rice button on my Instapot, the rice actually turned out a bit gummy. I will decrease the amount of broth by half a cup next time if I cook in my Instapot again. I also want to remind you that I did decide to cut this recipe in half, so if you choose to do that, um, the recipe that you see on the screen would be by half. You want to heat your oil, then add onion, garlic, and rice. Saute until the rice starts to brown. Add all of the remaining ingredients except the parsley into the pot and hit your rice button. If you're cooking this on the stove, you want to bring it to a boil, reduce to a simmer, cover, and cook 15 minutes over medium-low heat. Turn off the heat and let the pan sit covered for 10 minutes. Remove lid from pan, stir, and then add fresh parsley. Next up is to grill our chicken strips. I used my Ninja Foodie air fryer and they turned out perfectly. You do just want to not have too much oil if you're cooking that over the stove. I forgot to take a photo for this slide, so my friend Megan is going to stand in. I do want to tell you that none of my pet chickens were harmed in the making of this video. Last step is to prep our zucchini and chop up the rest of our vegetables. You're going to wash and slice your zucchini into about quarter inch thick rounds. You do want them to be thick because then after the freeze dry process, they'll hold up well like a chip so you can eat your hummus with it. You're going to place those into a bowl and spray with a very light coating of oil. Add Greek seasoning or sprinkle with salt, garlic and onion powder and then mix well. Grill the zucchini over medium high heat about one minute per side. When done, place on a paper towel. Let it cool and then blot any excess oil off with another paper towel. You also want to slice your red onion and dice up your fresh tomatoes if you're using those now as well. Let's load our trays. The rice took up one entire tray. Again, I'm going to cut that in half next time so I have more room for zucchini. I placed the hummus and tzatziki on its own tray and then the chicken and tomatoes on another and then finally the grilled zucchini and raw red onions on the final. Place it in a deep freeze for several hours or overnight, then run a batch. I did a normal load, no customization. It took about 28 hours. Here we go. Based on the original ingredients in this video, I ended up with two and a half cups of hummus, six cups of rice, one cup of the tomatoes, two cups of onion, three cups of chicken, one and three quarter cup tzatziki sauce, and 30 zucchini chips. In the next video in this series, we're going to create our single serving freeze dried Greek meals. I can't wait to see you then. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our page to be notified of new videos.